we won't be using playing cards today. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Built Not Ball Campus. Today, again, something new, something different. We're going to be refurbishing some wheels. And it's a transit that we've been working on. We've installed a diesel heater. We have taken off some decals, which you probably would have seen the video before this one. And um, yeah, a few little jobs for this customer to get out of the way. And the wheels are in quite a bad condition. Um, We've got two of them off the back so far, and they're down right in front of me here. So before we start sort of uh, doing any work to them at all, I thought I'd show you what they look like now. I'm going to take a quick picture of them now, and I'll take a picture of them at the end and put them side by side so you can see just how well the refurbishments come out. And as I said on one of my other videos, it's amazing how just refurbishing a set of wheels on your vehicle, especially if they look really, really tatty, can change the look of your vehicle immensely. Anyway, less of me, more of that. So the first step in this process, we're using a wire brush attachment. This is like a sort of brassy, sort of a very soft metal. Now we're going to get the worst of it, or most of the loose stuff off with that. Any stubborn bits, we're going to be using this one. That's a very stiff wire brush. Right, okay, so as you can see, we've given these a good wash off. They're nice and clean. We've used, used proper wheel cleaner to make sure if there's any brake dust or anything on there that shouldn't be on there, it's off. Uh, give them a rinse off. Uh, you see, this one's in a bit better condition than this one. This was the worst one, hence why I wanted to really video this one. I put a little bit of what we use is our rust converter. It's a bit like the Cure Rust you get from Halfords, which is done by Hammerite. This is the industrial one. We buy it by the five leaf or five litre um, canister and literally it works in the same way as cure rust you cover the whole wheel and you will notice this change colour Some of these products go black, some go purple. This one tends to go green. Now I know a lot of people out there when they refurbish their wheels, they don't do this stage. And the problem is, if you don't do this stage, the rust will eat back through the paintwork at some point in time. And then you'll end up doing it all over again. A 
no method is perfect unless we've got these wheels sandblasted but to do that we'd have to take the tyres off and the customer just wanted these tarted up a little bit As you can see that's reacting already and going green. Right, so all we need to do now is to leave this to dry for sort of, when I say not to dry, we need to keep it wet. So we give it about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and give it another coat. Right, okay, so it's now time for coat number two. So what we do now is we just let that dry. Hello and welcome back to day two of these wheel refurbishment videos. So yesterday, as you know, we took the wheels off. We've taken them back to as far as we could with a wire brush. We hit it with some Rust cure or some um, anti rust or it converts basically it cuts converts the rust into a solid material That's as far as I know. I'm no scientist Not technical in that way. All I know is that rust any rust left over you paint it on keep it wet for about half an hour So give it a second coat. It converts the rust into a solid material And it's no longer rust so I'm told Because we believe everything they say on the team So today we're going to be playing cards. Not really, but they are going to be used. So I'm going to take you down to where the wheel is. It's out of shot at the moment. So um, I'm going to stand it up against that board and I'll show you what the cards are for. Some of you might already know. Playing cards. That didn't work. Okie dokie, so we try a different method. We won't be using playing cards today. <laughs> ah! Works on all the other videos, why not on mine? Since the failed attempt with the playing cards, I have no idea why. <clears throat> I think the obvious option they would have been was to let the tyre down, put the cards in and pump it back up again. But we're going to the good old trusty things that I used before. Right, so that is masked up. Now we need his paint. We just gotta give it a coat of paint. Thank you. 
Right, we need to let that one dry. While we're letting that one dry, we're gonna do the other one. Once that's dried off a bit, we'll come back and give that another couple of coats. Right, so now the first coat is dry on the wheel, we're gonna give it a second blow over with this. Right, now we need to let that coat dry and then we give it another coat and the third and final coat after that. But we're gonna make the third and final coat just that little bit heavier. Give it a little while to dry and then we'll come back to you again. As usual, we've got to press to record on the camera. But we're now giving it its final heavy coat. That is the final coat of paint that's gone on the wheel. We're gonna take all the masking tape off, let that dry overnight, come back tomorrow, then we're gonna put the wheel back on the van, dress the tire, and we'll give you a shot of the, shot of the wheel when it's back on the van. Right, as you notice, we've been working on the last two wheels. They've all been cleaned up, and now it's time for their coat of rust converter. So that's another video completed for Built Not Bought Campers and this for Transit. So just to recap what we've done, we've refurbished the wheels, dressed the tyres, we've cleaned both sides of any residue from decals that was on there before, we've taken off a big decal off the forehead of the Transit, we've taken a big decal off the rear of the Transit and got rid of any glue residue off them as well. We even gave it a bit of a polish to make sure we try and blend the paintwork back in. So you can still slightly see where the decals were, but not too much. Not that noticeable that anybody's going to worry about it. 
and not forgetting most importantly we fitted a diesel heater in there as well and that is just another diesel heater for another day um, I've pushed diesel heaters on the channel enough and there's so many people doing it do you know I'll only push any diesel heater installs if there's something special about it or something different but I will be putting out a um, video on diesel heater upgrades um, what I think you should replace on diesel heaters and I'll be telling you why so keep an eye out for that video if you haven't subscribed already please do so it does help the channel massively especially if you find value in my videos check out all the other videos we've got quite a few on there now and I think that's literally all I've got time for and I hope you're staying safe hope you're staying well and most of all staying really really happy bye for now